These steaming vents could be the future for energy in the island nation of Comoros. 2,300 metres above sea level, researchers are looking at the geothermal potential of the Karthala volcano. Tiny bit more, we're just one degree off. The study has been funded by the African Union, New Zealand and the UNDP. With more investment, a power plant here could be operational by 2022. We plan to install a plant with an initial capacity of 10 megawatts, and then increase to 20 megawatts, and following that, to progressively meet the energy demands of the country. The Indian Ocean archipelago is facing a desperate energy crisis, with hours-long power cuts hitting everything from hospitals to small businesses. This bakery is struggling to survive. It's impossible to go a day without losing bread because of the power cuts. In the time it takes to start the generator, the bread can be ruined. We're asking the electricity company to do everything it can to guarantee our supply because small businesses like us are losing out. On the main island, only six out of 15 generators supplying the public are working. The African Development Bank was supposed to finance renovation, but nothing has been done in years. Comoros needs to have electricity now, not tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, but today. In the future, in the short and medium term, we should be able to envisage guaranteed production. But for now and going forward, we need to improve production and the network. Comoros is also exploring offshore oil and gas fields, and a highly polluting fuel oil plant should be operational by 2018. Meanwhile, the economy is up in smoke, with one in two young people unemployed.